Hey, it's your boy Mikey Will here. I'm gonna show you what quality she felt and I did. Two, the electric quad. Right now, this thing's in its final stages. This needs like a sprocket and a chain and a couple other things, but it's almost there, y'all. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like and comment because it helps more than you guys really know. Let's get into it. All right, we got quality sheet metal and welding here. These guys did me right in the past, so I brought it back, obviously, and they're gonna hook it up, put the battery on it, obviously, and uh, make a little cage for it to, so it makes it makes it like a good connection so it doesn't fall off or get water in it or whatever <laughs> just in a, like a good central location where it would uh provide good good balance and stability for the bike this is like the first beginning stages of it where he's making like the the bottom frame so he has to like weld like a little mount together and it's uh kind of hard <laughs> As you guys can see, it's not so easy. But uh, these guys did a fantastic job, to say the least. Their welds were really good. They're really consistent. They were clean. I'm not a great welder. To be honest, I've never welded, so that's why I bring this stuff here. Yeah. But. You can go, like the highs you can go, the better. Yeah, I went to the top of that. Oh, yeah, that's more than fine. It's up to you. We can always add the pan every time. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. See what you want. Yeah, so we had to grind off the a little bit of the, the old frame just so you could uh, weld to it a little bit better. Because uh, with the powder coat on top of the frame, it does make it a little harder to weld directly to it. So with the angle grinder, you can just cut away a little bit of the metal. So you can uh, weld a nice, clean uh, piece of metal to it. And we gotta make sure you get both sides. You don't wanna, you don't wanna just do one side versus the other. And give it a little measure, measure up. And then hit it with the little balance, um, what's those thing? Little balance meters. To show if it's a lot of level, or leveler. I don't know why I said balance meter, but level it. <laughs> Alright, so now he's just cleaning it up a little bit more with the angle grinder. Making sure it's like clean as can be before it goes on finally. Because once the inside's on, you're not really getting to it anymore. But you can obviously tell he's very experienced with this because it makes it look like it's very easy. <laughs> something that would something that took maybe an hour. But it took me like a couple weeks because I have I'm not skilled in this kind of thing but it's also really cool to look at how like the welding stuff works too like how hot it gets like the cut like the color like the, the simple fact that it's on fire right now obviously it's in a controlled environment so nothing bad would happen Yeah, the precision now, like, it really makes a difference versus if someone just threw this together or if someone professional did this. All right, now it's time for when we cool down the bottom plate so we can at least try to test fit the battery. Because without test fitting the battery, you will easily have not, not enough space to fit it in there. And it's already a tight fit as is, so you gotta make it as easy as easy as possible to take in or to put in and take out but as you guys can see it's looking pretty g up in there fellas all right now time to hit a little bit of back side of it just clean it up a little bit more just so it has like full stability and sitting at where it really needs to be sitting at. I'm actually showing you guys this just because, um, so you guys could actually do the same thing if you actually have the, the skills and know how to do this. It's just gonna give you guys a good idea of how I did this. And uh, 
And if you want, if you have the skills and know how, definitely give it a try. Cause uh, we just, if you watch this video, it shows you how every how we did every little bit of this, and more importantly, this is something new, not just for me, but for everybody. So to see things like this being done, it's very innovative and very cool to see. Because growing up, we had 12 volt quads that maybe went seven miles an hour. But now I'm sitting here looking at a straight up two, 250cc sized monster that's putting out, I don't even know how many horsepower. Like, but I know at the top of the speedometer, it goes 120 kilometers. So wh whatever this engine's gonna do, this motor's gonna do, it's gonna try to reach that. And that's around 80, 90 miles per hour. So, <laughs> I'm not for sure, I'm not for certain that we will reach those high speeds, but I know that it is possible. But um, let's get back to this video. We're actually mounting on the back plate for the, like the top, the top mount of the bracket. So now I'm gonna hit a little bit more air, make sure it's a little cool, you know? And now refitting the battery in, those wires are huge. And so far so good, everything's pretty even. So just hit a little bit more measurements. See if we can drill the holes for the, the top bracket mount. Um, he's actually, this part is actually, isn't really shown too much, but um, he's actually uh, measuring this long piece of sheet metal, or I'm not sure what kind of metal that is, but he has, they have this little machine that like bends the metal like perfectly, so he doesn't have to sit there and like actually bend it himself, because now you guys see that like the metal is literally like, a perfect square, but now he's just, um, he's drilling in the holes for uh the screw holes they should be five sixteenths because I, I had a bunch of m5 screws lying around here so it'd probably be easier to just do it like that or or even m6s work the same too but yeah gotta make sure you got the nice titanium bits to drill through that steel Definitely takes a little bit of force. Just putting that thing in there in that vice. It's just going for it all. But once you get it, it's such a relief. Just a little bit more cleanup on this thing. Make sure it's smooth. No crazy metal frays or any weird weirdness at all. Yeah, lining it up. See how it looks. Pretty good. I just putting the clamps on to make sure the holes drill up with the previous holes we drilled. And then now you just drill the hole through like the receiving part of the the frame and now we're just cleaning up the receiving part where you put the screw through and just tighten it up a little bit with the welder make sure we got full connections no no on the weird air pockets in there or something like that but yeah pretty much done fellas it's dope out here But enough of quality Shima, I'm gonna show you what I, I've done since right, then. First thing you're gonna wanna do, obviously move the speedo and the battery, voltmeter and stuff like that. Oh, remove the speed controller. That was just placed there temporarily. That's like right there or something. So we're gonna 
unscrew the air box. I actually previously cut off the sides to make this uh, EM260 fit. Shave, shave this down a little bit more. We're trying to get this thing low as possible. Can't really go behind this too much because uh, if you guys can see, it's kind of like going upwards and I don't really want to cut in and let water come in. So um, I'm just gonna, yeah, just get this low as possible, shave this down. I wanted to get almost to like the top line of here and let's see what happens. This with the grinder to clean it up a little bit. least another inch lower so I can put the seat on with more ease and comfort and if I need to charge the battery well not really charge the battery but like plug the battery in makes things a lot easier so all we need now is the chain sprocket and a uh, rear brake and uh, they should all be here momentarily oh not the sprocket the uh, sprocket screws actually because you need like special kind of weird angled screws or whatever for these Hondas but whatever Game on, y'all. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.